What is going on, Zed Lamry? Okay, today we're here with a new video, and it is how to make professional Minecraft thumbnails. Um, I'm using Paint.net currently, and I'm going to show you how to do it on Paint.net. Um, so, as soon as you get in here, you want to go ahead and hit canvas size and go to 1280 by 720. And this will make it the correct size for a YouTube thumbnail. I know some people say 640 by 320, you can do it however you want. Um, but the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to Google and type in Minecraft. I spelled that wrong. Hold on. Minecraft HD backgrounds. And this will bring you up to a page with very a very wide range of things to choose from. Um, you can pick any one you want, but I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one because it looks cool. Um, and all you want to do is just go ahead and right click it if it will let me. Come on. Come on. It's being stupid. No? Are you serious? Gross. Okay. Um, we'll just go ahead and choose this one, I guess. Copy image. And you go here, and you just want to click the paste button up here. And you just put it, and then you just drag it to how, however big you want it. And you shape it up on both sides. So now that already looks good by itself, but we're going to go ahead and put some more things on it. And yeah. So you can either put your Minecraft skin on there. I will tell you how to do that. You go to... Um, you can just go to Google um, and type in Nova Skin Wallpaper. And that'll bring you into a page with all your Minecraft skin. But as you know by my thumbnails, I don't usually put my Minecraft character in there anymore. I usually put my face in there. And that is what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get one of my faces so that I can put it in this video. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, so what I've done is um, just gone here and made all this stuff right. And all, all you want to do is once you have your Minecraft character or your face from your webcam, you just want to go ahead and hit Control shift v which will paste it into a new layer. Um, always keep canvas size, that is very important. And um, you can just shape it up to wherever you want it on the screen. And the reason that you want to paste it into a new layer is so that if you ever mess up on just this layer, you can erase without, like, getting on the other layer. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to kind of minimize me and just about to there. And then what you want to go ahead and do is go to Google and type in Minecraft logo. And this will pop up with very many options. Um, I think I like this one the most. So you just want to go here. Um, and when the image pops up, you want to go ahead and hit copy. Control shift V. And it'll pop up in here. And you want to make this basically the biggest thing on the screen because it is the most important. And if you want your face in front of it, all you have to do is just click down. And then it goes behind. You can still read the letters. It's all good. All good in the neighborhood. And if you're posed like I am, then you're going to need something in your hand. And I'm just going to go for a sword. And this looks nice, so we just go ahead and do what we've been doing for the past four minutes. And copy image, go here, control shift V, and you keep canvas size always. And here is something that I really like about Paint.net. It's magic wand feature. All you have to do is just click on the thing that you don't want. And it goes away perfectly. I didn't mean to do that. But now we can... You just want to shrink this sword. And I'm going to put it what looks like in my hand. I do this. I've done this for a few videos. Um... And I kind of just wanted to show you guys how I did it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and take away a bit and then push it down. And that kind of looks like I'm holding the sword, kind of, sort of. And I don't know. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and put that one. Nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. All right, that's fine. Um, 
And just say we're playing survival games, we're going to go ahead and just type in Minecraft survival games logo. And um, you can you can choose from any of these the all the little creeper guys, but I, I usually do this one. It looks cool, and I just I just like it. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know where I found it. I think it's down here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Copy image. Go down here. Go to your paint on it. Control Shift V, not C. Oops, crap. Oh, I copied it on accident. Well, hold on. Technical difficulties. I did not mean to do that either. Ugh, my brain. Copy image. Just don't save. Alright, so control shift V. And you go ahead and... Oh, crap. <laughs> you shrink that down. And you can just put it anywhere on the screen. And it looks kind of like a little... Just a nice little survival games looking... Thing. I'm going to go ahead and just shrink it so that I can put letters, and we're going to put it over here in the corner, or you can put it like on your shirt or something, make it look like you have a shirt that has this on it. Um, you can do the next step two ways. I have a text feature that I do it with, um, and I have a downloaded font, and you can go to defont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com, um, and pick from any different fonts. But I like Bada Boom the best. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just switch to a nice orangish yellow because that's what the creeper looks like. And type survival games. And you can obviously just push this. Oops. For survival games. And you can just push it over to the side. And then the next thing that you're gonna. Oh, frick. Um. Alright, you want to have your text on a new layer so that you can do one of the steps. Survival games. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and duplicate the layer. And this is how I make my text look really cool. Then you want to go to brightness and contrast and hit negative 40. And what this will do is it will make the text a little bit darker. And then what you want to go ahead and do is just take the top and clip it. And this will give it a nice little, you know effect that it is two different colors because you can't do what you can in Photoshop but it's a lot simpler and then you want to you can download this thing called drop shadow text effect I don't really know where the link is anymore um, just type in drop shadow for paint.net and you'll probably find it um, you want to hit drop shadow and as you can see here um, oh wait no before that you gotta merge the two layers back together hit effects go to drop shadow and then go to black and you can just play around with this. You can do the blur radius really high and then take the widening radius up really high so that it's like that. But I usually like to keep the blur radius where it is and turn the widening radius up to about there. Um, and then, of course, you can go ahead and do the little episode one thing. Um, it is literally the exact same thing as I just did. Um, I'm probably going to do it off camera because I really don't want to waste time on here. Um... But, yeah, I'll pause it and do that and come back to you guys really quick. So, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, guys, we're back. And, as you can see, I put just episode with a question mark so that you didn't, like, have to look at any certain episode and so that it didn't, like, fake you out when you came to my videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so that I'll take up a little bit more space. But, yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial. Um, I hope this guy's helped you with making your own tutorials. Paint.net is completely free. There's no cracking that you need to do. There is no um, illegal downloads. There's no viruses. It is just completely free. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped. If it did, then make sure to leave a like down below. Um, if this video hits five likes, I will do another video of just any sort, nothing specific. But, yeah, like I said, four times. I hope you liked I hope you like the video, and I hope that you like it, and I hope that you'll comment and subscribe. I have been Zedler. Peace and blessings.